John Steinhardt. Sure. Uh, saludos a todos. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Sí. Yeah, okay. yeah. So <laughs> I was uh, uh, part of the Amigos group in the summer of 66 um, with Jack Haley and Dan Hunting, the, our sort of illustrious founders. And then uh, summer of what would have been 67, uh, Dick Aronson and I uh, went back to sort of the co-leaders. And I was in twice in the village of uh, Xtapan. Um, I certainly remember Kathleen and, and Bill, who was in Xtapan the first summer. So um, like lots of other folks before me who've talked tonight, I could rhapsodize on, on those two summers. And it was, I think, a combination of where we were, the beauty of those villages, <clears throat> um, the kind of freedom of the times and being you know, 20, 21, 19 years old. So um, I'll sort of fast forward, you know, 40 or 50 years. I, I've only been to Latin America. I live in Spokane, Washington. So I'm in Eastern Washington. So um, been briefly back to Latin America for some medical missions. I'm a physician that went to uh, Ecuador, uh, Honduras, and then in sort of border Mexico, Laredo each time for a couple of weeks. But that was the last time in the mid nineties when I was in Mexico and would love to go back again. Um, in terms of the last year or so, <clears throat> um, I, I still work part times a couple of days a week as a urgent care physician, though, uh, fortunately, we saw a few, if any, COVID patients, at least during the real epidemic part of it, because they were sort of centralized. Um, so, but being a healthcare provider enabled me to get the vaccine relatively early. I think it was in March sometime. Um, I have uh, two twin sons who are juniors in high school, and like anybody else who has those folks who were in high school or college in the last year, they, it's a pretty big loss. Um, they were um, essentially had a whole year of online school from sort of March to April of this year, uh, two days a week. They missed, a, you know, essentially a whole year's worth of activities, sports, music programs, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so those things are, are coming back. Um, but I think, that, I think the young people in that high school and college age really took a hit. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, it's going to, you know, it's going to be with them for a while. They certainly um, had a lot of challenges. Um, um, in a, let's see, I'm in a Spanish conversation group <laughs> and we started to meet just before uh, the pandemic hit sort of had our first class and then we essentially Zoomed for a year. <laughs> and it's in the last two weeks, we've had our first meetings uh, in person. And uh, one was outside, another one was inside today. Um, it's actually pretty hot here in Spokane. But anyway, someone was talking uh, this afternoon that they were kind of in a you know, uh, stressful situation. And the leader said, there's really, um, not a good word in Spanish or Mexican Spanish for stress, which I thought was, uh -huh. they, they sort of, you can talk, you can say emocionante, but that's kind of, you know, you're excited or something, but it's not stress in the same way that we, you know, uh, Norte Americanos use the word. And so folks who speak Spanish or use the word stress or something kind of an anglicized, but I thought, when I thought of that, I thought, yeah, you know, right. The, 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 the summers of 66 and 67, yeah, they had a little bit of, quote, stress, but we, we learned a, a lot about living in a, in a, in a, a culture and um, uh, uh, approaching difficult situations without getting stressed out. <laughs> so um, it's great to see all these folks. Um, I did... I think the original uh, reunion that Jack had in 20 spring, uh, around May of a 2018, I did call in on the phone on that, but I wasn't present. 
Um, but I've you know kept up with the, the the group on the email bulletins and so forth. So it's just wonderful to see everyone. So, you would certainly like to go back to Mexico sometime. Mm. Thanks, John. Comments for John? Uh, you're in Spokane? Yes, right. Okay, I'm in Seattle. So maybe sometime oh, we yeah. can have a mini yeah. uh, Washington State reunion. I'll, <laughs> I'll send you my pointer. <laughs> yeah. It's Snohomish yeah. County, yeah, outside of uh, Seattle. Yeah. Uh, and sorry for interrupting the other. Yeah, no. for, the, for those folks who don't know Washington geography, I mean, the distance from Seattle to Spokane is about Boston to New Jersey. It's about five hours. <laughs> you, you take a plane to get there. <laughs> yeah. Well, just listening to John. So, so, <clears throat> someone else had a comment for John? Yeah, yeah. I have a comment. Am I yeah. muted? Um, just listening to him made me think about how much. We can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 How much we appreciate yes. you guys, Jack and Alexander, for all the work you've done to pull this together, starting with the reunion, I guess, if it was 2018. I mean, it is really, really something. And I applaud you and thank you so much. Yeah, right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I guess, you know, I would, I would echo that in one last comment. I mean, I. I'm impressed by the number of folks who have, you know, continued their connection with Mexico in a variety of ways. I mean, for Bill playing, you know, concerts there, and, and a number of folks have continued to have a relationship with the villages, and uh, yeah, including the village I was in. So that's impressive. 